Did you know that 90% of startups fail within the first three years? But here's what's more surprising, most successful entrepreneurs faced multiple failures before achieving success. What's the difference between them and everyone else? They embraced failure, rather than running from it. Failure. Just the word makes us uncomfortable. We associate it with pain, embarrassment, even shame. We're taught from an early age that failure is bad, that it's something to avoid. But what if we've been looking at it all wrong? Success and failure aren't opposites, they're two sides of the same coin. The road to success is paved with missteps, wrong turns, and setbacks. It's impossible to achieve anything meaningful without failing along the way. This isn't just a cliché, it's a principle deeply rooted in both personal growth and the philosophy of life. The ancient Stoics, for example, believed that adversity, including failure, was necessary for building character. Marcus Aurelius, one of the greatest Stoic philosophers, wrote. The impediment to action advances action. What stands in the way becomes the way. In other words, our challenges, including failures, are not roadblocks, they're the path to our greatest achievements. But here's the challenge, we live in a society that worships success and hides failure. We see the highlight reels, people achieving great things, breaking records, building billion-dollar companies. But what we rarely see is the mess behind the curtain, the nights of self-doubt, the years of failed attempts, the countless no's that came before the final yes. So many of us are trapped by this fear of failure. It's why we hesitate to try something new, why we play it safe, why we cling to comfort zones. The thought of failing becomes so overwhelming that it paralyzes us. Psychologist Carol Dweck, known for her work on the growth mindset, explains this perfectly. She says that people with a fixed mindset see failure as a reflection of their ability, a personal flaw, and therefore something to avoid. But those with a growth mindset, who see failure as a part of the learning process, are much more likely to take risks and achieve their goals. Dweck says, why waste time proving over and over how great you are, when you could be getting better? It's a profound question. But what is it, really, that we fear? Is it the act of failing itself, or is it how failure makes us feel, vulnerable, less than, maybe even unworthy? Fear of failure is, in many ways, fear of exposure. It's the fear of being seen as weak or imperfect in a world that often values perfection. Now, let's look at some of the most celebrated figures in history. They're not remembered for their failures, but if we dig deeper, we see that failure was a key ingredient in their success. Take Thomas Edison. When trying to create the electric light bulb, he failed 10,000 times. He famously said, I have not failed. I've just found 10,000 ways that won't work. His ability to reframe failure as part of the process was crucial to his ultimate success. Edison didn't fear failure, he embraced it, and because of that, he changed the world. Or consider Michael Jordan, widely regarded as one of the greatest athletes of all time. He once said, I've missed more than 9,000 shots in my career. I've lost almost 300 games. 26 times I've been trusted to take the game-winning shot and missed. I've failed over and over and over again in my life. And that is why I succeed. Jordan's greatness didn't come from avoiding failure, it came from learning to use it as motivation. This philosophy echoes across time and cultures. In Eastern thought, the Taoist philosophy emphasizes the concept of Wu Wei, or effortless action. This principle teaches that resistance to the natural flow of life, which includes both success and failure, only creates struggle. Lao Tzu, the founder of Taoism, wrote, Failure is an opportunity. If you blame someone else, there is no end to the blame. To accept failure is to accept responsibility for your growth. 
Even in modern psychology, failure is seen as a critical part of learning and development. It's often referred to as, productive failure. Educational psychologist Manu Kapoor argues that struggling and even failing during the learning process helps us understand things more deeply. It builds resilience. Kapoor says, we must fail intelligently. The point isn't to avoid failure, it's to learn from it. So if failure is such a powerful teacher, why are we so afraid of it? There comes a pivotal moment in every journey where failure stops being the enemy and becomes the greatest ally. For many successful individuals, this moment occurs when they realize that their failures are what shape their success. Take J.K. Rowling. Before she became one of the best-selling authors in history, Rowling was a struggling single mother, rejected by 12 publishers before Harry Potter finally saw the light of day. In her 2008 Harvard commencement speech, she spoke about the benefits of failure. She said, failure meant a stripping away of the inessential. I stopped pretending to myself that I was anything other than what I was, and began to direct all my energy into finishing the only work that mattered to me. For Rowling, failure wasn't an end, it was the beginning of self-discovery and eventual triumph. And this is the key. When we embrace failure, we stop trying to avoid it at all costs. We see it for what it is, a teacher, a guide, a necessary part of growth. We stop defining ourselves by our failures, and instead use them as fuel for our next attempt. The philosopher Friedrich Nietzsche is famous for his phrase, what does not kill us makes us stronger. This is more than a motivational quote, it's a deep existential truth. Our capacity to endure, to rise after falling, builds strength not just in our bodies or minds, but in our spirit. Nietzsche's will to power speaks to this relentless drive to overcome obstacles, including failure, to achieve greatness. So, what's the lesson here? Failure is not something to avoid, it's something to embrace. The fear of failure is a greater obstacle than failure itself. As we've seen, every failure holds the seed of success, if we're willing to learn from it. When we let go of our fear of failure, we become free. Free to experiment, to take risks, to step outside of our comfort zones and into the unknown. And this is where true growth happens. Failure, in its essence, is a tool. It teaches us what doesn't work, but it also teaches us about ourselves, our limits, our resilience, our capacity to grow. Every setback brings us one step closer to a breakthrough. So next time you face failure, don't shy away from it. Don't let it define you. Instead, lean into it. Ask yourself, what is this teaching me? How can I grow from this? Because when you embrace failure, you embrace the very process of becoming stronger, wiser, and ultimately, more successful. Now, it's your turn. Share your personal stories of failure in the comments below. How has failure shaped your journey? And if you're ready to dive deeper into the mindset needed to overcome challenges, subscribe to our channel and check out our next video on resilience and grit. Remember, failure isn't the end. It's only the beginning.